Dad made the Hall of Fame, and a lot of stories came forth then mm -hmm. about that. A lot of, trust me, most of the interviews I've had so far today from Russ Dietrich being struck out by your dad. You've never heard the story. You will hear it. It's unbelievable. I, I can't wait. And, yeah. and to everybody else, talk about Jim Adamczak mm -hmm. Jim Adamczak. What did Jim Adamczak think about Jim Adamczak? You know him as a dad. Did he talk about it? He was, he was pretty private. Uh, you know, I mean, because... When, you know, he'd be at the he'd be at the games when I you know at school, and then he'd go right to the games and stuff like that. So I really didn't, you know, no. I mean, he's very competitive. I can tell you that, very very competitive. Which in, in all things, golf stuff like that. Oh right? yes, yes, oh yes, golf too. You know, because he started out playing baseball, and then I think he got hurt. But and then went into softball. So did he talk at all about why? I mean. Why softball? And because throwing as a pitcher is overhand, and then all of a sudden you throw it underhand. I, I, I think he hurt his shoulder, but I'm not positive. Okay. So I'll have to, I was going to ask my mother because um, I think Ron Fredris asked too. How did how did they get started playing? And I don't even I don't know how they got started. So. Well, you should probably. Is your mother still among us? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll ask my well, mother. Maybe, maybe we need to do. That. All right. Because okay. I mean, the reality is. The Jim Adams Act story is the story of fast pitch softball here. Mm -hmm. yep. There is, and then there's the others. Now they're all very good too. Right, they that, all are yep. wonderful. Yep. You get the list is long, but mm -hmm. every I've had now ten interviews. Ninety percent is Jim. Jim, I hit um, foul ball off him. I got I, one hit. Yeah, that's Jack what, that's what I hear. said. I think I probably had more hits off of him than. Uh, than probably anybody ever in the history of, of mm -hmm. softball. And that's like three. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, I know. And, and I was talking to my, my Uncle Steve Paschal, and he's Uncle Steve, or was it? Maybe it was Uncle Steve. No, it was Jim Hannon. Because Jim Hannon said that the best batter against my dad was Terry Woodfield. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Jim said that, yeah. Yeah, no so. I, yeah, he said he, he was yeah, a lot, yeah. Right, so. and, it's, and it's interesting because if you're a catcher, Funny how you, because you can read pitches. Yeah. You know, it's just a, it's just a phenomenon. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, okay. So, so, when, you know, your, your, your dad would walk around, he had a big presence. Very big did, presence, yeah. When you walked around with him, did people recognize him, stop him? Is he a celebrity? More on the softball field than anything else. I don't, you know, because he played softball mostly. We didn't. You know, he went to work and played U softball and... UPS, right? UPS, UPS. yep, yep, UPS. And uh, I know he commanded a presence on the field a lot. So they didn't call him the king for any reason other than that, you know, because he had a big presence on the field. Did you go to the games? Did yes. Did take you? And yeah, oh yes, we were all there, all four of us, yep. But we probably were, I probably didn't start watching the games until I was probably... 15, 16, you know, because you, you see, you see game, you know, you see one game after another and after another, and you know, we usually didn't go during the week because we had school or you know, or we were doing something else. But we would go to tournaments, we'd go to Erie, we'd go to Olean. So it was a family affair. Pretty much, yeah. My mom went, yeah, yep. Yeah, we all went. To go separately? Sounds stupid, but or did your dad kind of throw you all in the car? And we just, we just took off. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. We, pro we probably did. Yeah. We probably did go all together. Yeah. Uh, Steve Adams, his brother. My, yep, my uncle Steve, yep. And were they close? Yes. And Steve Pitt was a pitcher. Yes, on a, on I believe so. Team, yeah. No, I think he played for Stravato something too, I think. Yep, you have to ask my my uh, uncle Steve Paschal. You have to ask him, my mom's brother. Is he here? Yep. Oh, good. Yep. I'll make sure we do that. Yeah, yeah. Because I think a uh, um, phenomenon is the age differences between the Stravatos players and the Caesar House players. There's a difference, and, yeah. And there are, uh, in fact, Schmidt talked about how it's, it's 50 years has lapsed since really the last mm -hmm. games and how so many people have passed away at Stravatos. Mm -hmm, yes. Uh, and it's, it's just a gap. Cause, and, and it just underscored my own thinking, and this is not for the tape, but <coughs> no, that's okay. uh, I watched a lot of that, and it was always the older guys, your dad's team, mm -hmm. and the younger guys. 
from Caesar House. Caesar House. And, yep. and I asked Bob, I go, is that, is that a, a true impression? He goes, oh, absolutely. You know, kind of the veterans, maybe mm-hmm. a 10-year difference at the time. Seemed like I, I think it was a lot, seemed, yeah. Seemed like the Gustafson, Spetses, Parsons, mm-hmm. you know, that whole They were all right around the same yeah. age, I think, so yeah. yeah. And so just everybody else. Now, I've always been curious, at some point, your dad stopped pitching. <coughs> yep. Is there a reason? I think his back was bothering him, maybe shoulder, knees, so, so hips. Health related? From pretty much, you know, aches and pains of, because I think he went all the way through to like 78, 79, because I was graduated in 77, so I think he was just kind of slowly not pitching as much in the late 70s. So I, I'm curious, because the, the league itself, mm-hmm. the open league uh, mm-hmm. that kind of dwindled down to six teams at one point because there were no pitchers right yeah and then it ended it sort of ended in 75 <coughs> or so did your dad then go on traveling teams did you did he go on weekends to Olean or Buffalo or? he used to when he was younger yeah I know I know he did that because I know he played I don't think they played much in Buffalo but I could be wrong but I know he went to Erie a lot a lot to Erie and played with teams there and I think for money, but I'm not positive. Yeah, yeah. So life after Jamestown, because it ended, and he was <coughs> probably still pitching for a couple of years. And I think he left for, let's see, I graduated, my brother graduated. So I think he probably left with UPS probably back in the, probably 80-ish, yeah. to go to wherever, only Ann or Hamburg, I can't remember which one. He left the area. He left the area for his job, yep. Yeah. And then that was it. So softball. Pretty much. And, yep. And yep. Yep. What kept him busy? Did he was he golf? Golf. Golf. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Every day if he could. Twice on Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. My kids used to when we go visit my mom, we'd write the score down of what they thought my dad was going to have that day. So then when he came home, that the kids would wonder what score he had at golf that day. So. What your mom think about all this softball? That I don't know. We'll have to ask my mother. Well, I don't ever good. really ask. I never really asked her, really. Yeah, we got a void here. We definitely, absolutely have you a You know, void. and you should have, like, Olita and, like, my ma- my Aunt Carol, Steve's uh, wife. You could get a a better perspective of those two, Olita yeah, and well, maybe we Carol. Lori, I'm curious. Did your dad bring the game home with him? Did he talk about the game once... No, the game was over and he was at home. No, because I'll tell now you. Now he was then a he, dad? Well, no, because he would do the games and then he would go to Stravados and then we would be in bed. Ah. So there was really no... So he didn't talk about the games nope. at home? Nope. Nope. Okay. nope. Always a curiosity because mm-hmm. it's, it's it's definitely Stravados, Jim Adams, I have Stravados. Mm-hmm. Did he play with anybody else? During that, oh, did he ever? I don't think in Jamestown, but yeah. I think he played with tournament teams. Tur- oh, tournament, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tournament yeah. teams, I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and I, I recall this again. My, I'm the kid of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, your dad not only gets Ronnie, but Tommy Irons. Does that name ring a bell? Mm-hmm. With you? Is he from like Olean or yeah, something like that? Yeah, yep. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Tommy Irons. So mm-hmm. that was sort of the big guy from Olean, mm-hmm. and he was. I think he was a big guy too. Big guy yeah, too, yeah, I think so too. So big yep. Jim and big Tommy, Tommy Irons and, and Damon. Ron, Ron, yeah. <laughs> Ronnie Fredericks, yeah. Well, you've planted a seed here, Lori, if nothing else, that to fill out, really fill out the story. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the kind of behind the scenes stuff, and certainly on your dad. Because uh, I wish I'm just saddened on many fronts. Yep. Couldn't, couldn't interview him. Right, Didn't right. Have a chance, never had a chance. Never right. weren't in doing that. And no movies. I know. Have you asked around here? Well, that's, any any has, Woodfields? Has any, have they talked about this today? Have they any, talked at, at all? Have they? When they Tom is Tom talk? Is Tom giving a speech? Okay. Yeah, uh, he didn't ask that though. I wish he would have asked that. Yeah, yeah I've you know like I would have thought like Hannon might have. Jim Hannon, well, if well, you know, well, we'll yeah, sure. I don't think my my mom doesn't. That I know. I think I've asked her We're several looking times. Looking for the Holy Grail is somebody must have a video someplace of either Ron pitching or Jim pitching. I can't believe they were just so. I mean, every every 
Post Journal headline is Adam Zach no hitter, Fred Rist no hitter. Yep. Somebody, one of those guys. Yeah. That there isn't somebody who just didn't do this. But that wasn't, you know, back in the day, that wasn't one of the things well, to it. do, you know, well, unfortunately. Well, I got in the 50s and so. Yep, yep. So, well, this is great. You have much to say. I did not have much to say. Sorry Thank you, though. Yeah, Thank you, yeah, though. Exactly. No, but, but I would introduce, you know. Carol and the girl, you know, Alita, I'm sure she has a bundle of stories too. Well, so we're going we're gonna to do that. Tell your mother, you call her, because you, you're going to report in. Okay. That's just how this works. It does. <laughs> and you can say, hey, mom, they're coming after you, so be prepared. All right. I will. So I got to tell you the story, Lori. There's mm -hmm. a guy that lives on my street. His name is Ed Morrissey. He was a UPS guy. Okay. So one day last week, I, I was thinking about what's happening mm -hmm. here. I go, Ed, did you work with Jim Adams? He goes, oh yeah. I go, what do you think? He goes, well, I got a lot of overtime because of Jim. <laughs> because he had to leave to go he, play oh, softball. Oh, yeah, that and was... he says, us young guys got all the gravy. Oh yeah, <laughs> so he, he, he liked, went, oh yeah. He liked, he liked your dad because he got yeah. all he got oh, extra yeah. pay. Oh yeah. <laughs> he said, Jim, Jim didn't want to work overtime. No. He wanted to go play softball. Yes, he did. That's just how he is in golf, too. He wanted to play golf. And Good story. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Hey, great. Thanks, Lori.